What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this design here since it is day 19 of creating one streetwear design per day for 30 days. We're going to create a design with the word killer since it was randomly extracted from a word online generator and I think I'm gonna do something related with the desert. For this graphic here, I decided to include a scorpion as the main object, as the main character mainly because it acts uh, as a killer and I didn't want to put like people or other sorts of, I don't know, like video game killers. I just wanted to be a little bit abstract and at the same time, I didn't want to include, as I said before, really human figures or other stuff. Since yesterday, I created a graphic with a ghost and so I just wanted to change things up a little bit. So I decided to go with a scorpion mainly because uh, a scorpion, it has a lot of stories around how the venom can kill you and of course it's intimidating i mean you can see it it's really intimidating and it acts as a killer and uh, it can be considered as leak killer so even if small it uh, will get you killed if uh, you get uh, poisoned by this scorp of course i know that not all scorpions are harmful are that harmful that can kill you but a great part is uh, and can kill you so i just decided to go with it it acts as a really strong way of saying uh, even if small uh, it's a really powerful killer and so i decided to just use uh, the word killer with the, the word sleek killer I wanted to find a really posh way of saying small and agile and fast. So we just decided to go with sleek. And moreover, now we can just focus on how we are going to achieve this element here of a sleek killer in Photoshop. So I just decided to grab a image, of course, of a scorpion and then added a threshold effect over it. A threshold effect for the people that don't know what it is. It's basically an effect uh, that converts uh, images into black and white uh, using shades uh, and lights uh, as a way of, uh, let's say, creating the pattern of the threshold effect. And what I'm gonna do is add over the threshold effect, even a gradient map, with the colors got from a color palette for the desert. So the colors of the desert, as you may remember for the graphic number three in this challenge here, that I created basically a newspaper paper article on a t-shirt i just even added the gradient maps uh, for a desert and so i'm gonna use those gradient maps even for this design since i think it's a really nice thing to implement different elements and different references to past designs so i just decided to search the best design color for this graphic here i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or if i'm gonna change it with other colors because maybe i'm thinking of adding over this gradient here another gradient i know hear me out it's crazy but hear me out add another gradient on top and you might ask well but why wouldn't you just change it well i like just complicating myself and so i will just change it later for now i will choose the best color and the best gradient of them all i was thinking of adding an orange with a beige color so the second color in this color palette and the fourth color and I think it will look very sick and very amazing, even because, I mean, it catches that scorpion and that desert vibe, because even if you add, like, other elements, like a dark red uh, in that color palette, the vibe uh, gets a little bit misunderstood. Instead, if we put it like this, I think that it's perfect for the desert, since we have the sand color plus the sun color, and it adds a really nice vibe. Moreover, I collaborated in the past with a brand that I wanted to do with the desert something and so it works for me. For this killer vibe, I wanted to go of course with this font here, which is a gothic font and which I think suits very well the idea of a killer and of course even the idea of a scorpion. Here I just decided to put it beneath the actual scorpion and add other things on top. Of course, I will just put it in a curved way just to make it more dynamic and just to make it more nice. And I think it's going pretty well. What I will do after is basically search some information that goes well with the idea of a sleek killer and with the scorpion. So maybe I will search something related with how can a scorpion kill you or the harmfulness of a scorpion on humans. I think that by doing so, I will add some context to the killer 
so to the scorpion and even the idea of a killer and of the scorpion will be in a way more connected because uh, we have the description of how a scorpion can possibly kill a human we can say that uh, a scorpion is a killer even for the human so i just wanted to put this out to the world uh, and even to the customer because even it adds some context to the actual graphic and even to the relationship between the image of the scorpion and uh, the layout and the font decided to go with for the sleek killer text what i will do after is maybe add other two fonts not one two in the same way of the sleek killer font just down below in two other fonts of course curved uh, just because i think that in the middle there it's missing something and uh, the way that i'm going to go with it is to actually add some other texts uh, to make it more complete the other option was to actually just uh, grab an image and put it below with a threshold effect but i didn't like it too much so i decided to go with the two text below the sleek killer gothic font the first font i decided to go with it's a pretty minimalistic font it's a druk wide if i'm not mistaken i really like it because i worked with it in the past when i was doing something with the desert because it's a really wide font and complements the gothic font afterwards i added this other font i really like it because it adds that uh, send vibe and that indiana jones vibe i don't know why indiana jones but i really like how it's it's made as if it was made uh, the text was made with actual sand or even with like a spray paint so i really like it then i search some scorpion images and some scorpion warning signs just to make it a little bit more interesting to see that it's actually a scorpion that will get you killed if you go really close to it i decided to add some signs because i really wanted to add a sign in one of my designs in this challenge here since they're really explicative and uh, they add uh, all the graphics uh, needed uh, for that streetwear vibe so i decided to put it here to put it in this design but i didn't like it so here i added surprisingly a gradient map over this whole design at the start i wanted to add it to the warning sign but then uh, you see i really like it and added as i said before even another gradient map over it the two colors that i decided to go with is a beige color which of course is a color that i use to print my stuff since i have a mock-up and even uh, i have the actual tees that are in this beige color brown color if we want to call it like that and of course it's also the sand and i really like it and uh, i decided to go with a red maybe i will change it to orange but maybe no i added my global my studios logo name on the sand type of font and added a curvature just a little bit i think that the fonts in this graphic here are really important to show the meaning of the actual scorpion and even the atmosphere around it so if you want to create a really nice design think through the fonts before actually designing the graphic then i added a sleek killer text with this wide and stretched effect on the left hand side of the design and added on the right hand side other logos such as my global mind studios logo at the start i wanted to put this text here but i didn't like it so i just decided again to change things up and just put global mind studios gms with a scorpion because i think in my opinion it summarizes pretty well this design here so as i said before the two colors are this brown and this red color blood red and reminds so i think it's pretty nice and adds uh, that killer vibe i really like it how this part of the logo is going to work is that i'm going to add with this monument extended font uh, gms which is an acronym for global mind studios and then add this scorpion here in the middle of the m and the s after what i'm going to do is that i'm going to place it to see if it's good enough and if i like it now that i'm obsessed with it i'm just gonna search uh, in the layer style two options the first one is the stroke since i'm gonna add some red uh, stroke around the actual scorpion and then i'm going to change the white which is inside with the, the color overlay that will change it to the same background color here's the final result with the free criterions to grade this graphic here thank you very much for watching i'll catch you tomorrow with a new video bye bye